Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today is the day that we have all been kind of yet not really looking forward to. <laughs> we are starting the final and last season of The Big Bang Theory today, season 12. We have eight more videos, guys, and I gotta say, I just might get sad as we go along in this season. Um, it will be a year in August when we started this show, and it has been such an incredible journey going with you guys, and I gotta say, I am excited for this season at the same time that I'm not. Um, <laughs> but I will be, I will let you guys know young Sheldon will be coming after this show, but before we do young Sheldon, I'm going to try and find it. Um, the bloopers from every season, I'm going to combine it into one video per season. Um, is probably what we're going to do before we do young Sheldon. That way we stretch it out just a little bit longer. Um, but I'm excited for this. So if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's go ahead and continue our journey through the last season of the Big Bang Theory. Good morning, wife. <laughs> Good morning, husband. I can't believe we're actually married. It's official. <laughs> oh my God, we're at Lego Although, land. <laughs> when you think about it, Lego is the perfect metaphor for marital congress. Two pieces that interlock with a satisfying snap. <laughs> oh, that's the sound you were making. Voila. What the hell? <laughs> you thought it was going to be food, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it nice having Sheldon and Amy away on their honeymoon? Yeah, because now Leonard and I get all this alone time. <laughs> but you're not alone, we're here. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Channel 3 asked me to be on the news tomorrow night to talk about the meteor shell. Oh, that's hey. great. Oh, yeah? Congratulations. You know, that's how Neil deGrasse Tyson got his start. He went from the Hayden Planetarium to guesting on the local news to ruining everyone's favorite movies on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> now it's happening to me. Sounds like someone's in there. Uh... What if Sheldon and Amy are getting robbed? Or worse, what if they're back early? <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They just posted a picture in front of the Statue of Liberty. Real or Lego? Lego. Oh, yeah, someone's definitely in there. Okay, let's go into our apartment. We'll lock the door. We'll call the... Hello? Anyone in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Patty. Oh, oh, it's Mr. Flowers. Oh, it's Amy's Sorry, dad. I didn't know you were here. We, we actually thought someone was breaking in. <laughs> Amy asked me to water her plants. She didn't have any plants. Oh. Well, oh, God, did the mob kick her mouth? <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> did her mom kick him out of the house? Hey, did you even see Mama Mia 1? I didn't need to. The sequel stands on its own. <laughs> I've heard that, too, actually. Me, me and Nick did the first one together on his channel, and I think we just forgot about the second one. Yeah, she, he's living there. <laughs> Here you go. If you need any recommendations while visiting New York, please don't hesitate to contact me. Well, it is our honeymoon. So we are going to be quite busy. Got it. Enjoy New York, and I guess coitus. <laughs> really, Sheldon? You want to... Do it again? Don't act surprised. It's clearly I am a little schedule. bit. I can't believe they canceled Vampire Diaries, but they'll show this. This is the news. And that was a woman torn between two hunky vampires. What is your point? <laughs> Larry, I know you're in there. Miss Fowler, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. It's my husband you should worry about. Oh, we do. Larry, come on! I don't think he's in there. <laughs> come on, you have an extra key. Open it up. All right, but I'm telling you, he's not in there. He's definitely in there. there. See? Oh, he's in here. I can smell his axe body spray. Why is he Where's hiding from her, though? <laughs> Yeah, now 
I smell him. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll see hey, hey, he's one hot weather girl. In the in How come if I say that, I get in trouble? Can I say it? You can say it. No, it's a test. It's a test. Don't do it. <laughs> Caltech astrophysicist Dr. Rajesh Kuthrapali. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. I guess Neil deGrasse Tyson was unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? Uh, not important. So, what can yeah, what are you doing, Raj? From this meteor shower. Sounds like there's no love lost between you and Dr. Tyson. Oh no, I love Neil. I mean, not as much as Neil loves Neil, but who does, right? <laughs> Why are we talking away, about him? Oh my god. <laughs> Literally. Oh, you know, I'm told we are out of time, <laughs> having learned nothing about meteor showers and too much about Dr. Kuthra Polly. Do you know what I love about Broadway theater? It's so interactive. Uh huh. You're what so happened? close to the actors. It's like you're in the play. Uh huh. When you yell, Harry, watch out, he looks right at you. No, and not just Harry, everyone on stage. The risk of sounding Sheldon. redundant. Oh, no can do. If we miss tonight, it's not scheduled until Thursday at 6. And that'll have to be no frills because we got a 6.30 reservation at Benihana. I want to ask who schedules sex, but this is Sheldon we're talking about. D mix it up. Who are you, Betty Crocker? <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, to take a shower. Now that sex can happen at any time, I'll always have to be ready. <laughs> should probably live under a waterfall. Well, you don't oh have to God. worry about sex happening tonight. Oh, well, thanks. No, no, who would do that? What kind of husband would you let him talk? Maybe he'll find out. Fine. Larry. <laughs> well, there you go. What more can you say? He looks Let's like more Goldman from Family Guy in real life, to be honest I with you. I think I'll stay. I don't think those two are going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them alone. Poor Mr. Fowler, I really feel sorry for the little guy. I know. After they had Amy, she should have just eaten him and been done with it. Some guys think strong women are sexy. Yeah, but they seem to have nothing in common. Sometimes opposites attract. <laughs> I was gonna say... Wait, wait, are you saying we are like them? I don't know, maybe a little. You're the sweet, quiet one and I'm Amy's mom, is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> Not in those terms exactly. <laughs> really? <laughs> the parallels. Guys, you need to apologize to Dr. Tyson. Why? This could be good for me. Everybody loves a good Twitter feud. Neither no. could be like the new uh, Katy Perry and Taylor Swift. Come on, Raj, you're better than this. Leave room for dessert, because I'm going to make you eat those words. <clears throat> Dear Dr. Tyson. What are you going to do? He's from another country. <laughs> And here we have the former hotel where Tesla perfected the three-phase alternating current motor. That's wrong. I'm going to say something. Don't. Well, then how will everyone know I'm the smartest boy here? You don't need to... Nobody needs to go. know that. Is it possible that you're sexually frustrated? Okay, now I'm testing. If you would adhere to my coital schedule, your brain would be floating on a sea of oxytocin right now. Don't talk to me about my brain. I'm a neurobiologist. Then you should know the benefits of the special hug that grown-ups give each other. What? Yeah, you're blowing it, Sheldon. And not, not in the way you should be. Yeah, I'm only recently married. Do I stay here? Do I follow? Say something useful. So, I see you're making espresso. Yep. Just need that extra jolt for a successful day of ball busting. Really? I don't, I don't think you do. <laughs> you know, you compared us to the strangest couple we know. And we know Amy and Sheldon, Howard and Bernadette, Raj and his twitchy little dog. But, uh, I'm serious, and I'm nothing like Amy's dad. He's a mousy little man who can't stand up for himself. Well, yeah, let's, My let's put is, a pin in like that one. So we're not like that. Well, 30 years from now, are you going to hide from me because I'm so scary? Yes, I flinch when you make sudden moves, but... <laughs> That says more That's about a trauma my response. Than you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I feel lettered on that one. Sometimes I'm like that. I get it. Two respected scientists debating opposing views in a public forum. You called him Mike Tyson's little sister. 
yeah. and now Mike Tyson's mad at me too. <laughs> Why is this something you want to do? Anyone by attacking him. Oh, Bernadette, you sound so old right now. I'm too much for him. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean that. He said I'm overbearing. Well, you're yelling oh, inside. You're just the right so, amount yes. of bearing. Look, I know he loves you. If you just give him some space, I'm sure he'll come back. I hope we get to spend lots of time together. Oh, God. That's scary. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes, hit the road. Hello. Hello. I brought you two hot dogs. A aren't you going to eat one? From a street cart? Are you crazy? I'm amazed that I'm holding them. I'm not really hungry. Yeah, but I want to be a good husband to you. And intimacy is a part of that. Right? Please put those down. <laughs> I'm just worried that if I don't schedule our bedroom endeavors, then I may not think about them. Sheldon, I could never be with anybody but you. That's good to know. I wouldn't want to fight a man who's brave enough to touch a fish. <laughs> How's this for a compromise? Make all the schedules you want. Just don't tell me about them. Excellent. Because the generation of true random numbers remains an unsolved problem in computer science. Come with me. Where are we going? To the hotel room. And when we get there, I'm going to need you to say that again, except naked. <gasps> well, all right then. Oh, God. Don't forget the hot dogs. Oh! <laughs> Is Rajesh Kutrapali? Yes, who is this? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yep. Well, um, well, wow. <laughs> How fun is this Twitter thing, huh? <laughs> you think you're funny? I'm not, I'm, I'm not Seinfeld funny, but I did an open mic night one. You're not funny. Why don't you come by and say some of those things to my face? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, but thanks for the invite. <laughs> Smart move. And the next time you pick up your phone, Remember, I'm the guy who kicked Pluto out of the solar system. Let's see who else needs a DeGrasse kicking. Seriously? <laughs> Bill Nye's science guy. <laughs> hey, Bill, Neil Tyson, we've got to talk. Nope. <laughs> now, but I think by the end of the honeymoon, we really started to feel like a married couple. Yeah, but the good kind, like on TV, not like my parents. Yeah. You're not a real married couple until you can pee with the door open and she's okay with it. I don't think that even Bernadette's... I'm not okay with you. <laughs> Did you forget about us until you were at the airport? No, we forgot about you until we were on the plane. Oh my God. Luckily, there was Wi-Fi and I have Amazon Prime. I understand that there is an elderly rock and roll musician named Neil Young. Perhaps you heard him. Or, if not him, Egyptian table tennis silver medalist, Noha Yasri. Or, Nana Yamaguchi, the Japanese voice actress who starred in Sally the Witch. Oh my god, that's huge. Give me a double XL. I told you. You were right, dear. <laughs> She's like a small. <laughs> Sheldon, that's not how you write a thank you card. What's wrong with it? Dear Aunt Helen, thank you so much for the lovely place setting. If my handwriting looks strained, that is because this is the 16th thank you card Amy has forced me to write. <laughs> this one is from Leonard and Penny. Aw, the perfect gift for the perfect couple. Oh, save that card. We need to throw it back in their faces. I wonder what it could be. Oh, it could be anything. Well, isn't this nice? What is that? What is it? You know, it's uh, it's one of those. <laughs> nope, doesn't do that. Am I no, supposed to know what that is? Lick it. Well, Leonard and Penny are our best friends. They know us better than anyone. They said it's the perfect gift. We must be missing something. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> is it supposed to hold something? Like a yeah. liquid? But don't be silly, Amy. How is this big glass shaft going to aid our marriage? I'm not gonna say it. Do you 
<laughs> you know Crypto, it, and I know it, but that's it. Flying. Superman has to fly after him with a little baggie. I think he's smiling. He looks happy. <laughs> oh my god, are they flirting? They're way past flirting. I caught them making out at Sheldon's wedding. Are you sure she wasn't trying to breathe life back into him? <laughs> What's her deal? Is she into you, or does she just hate her parents? <laughs> I, I don't know. We kissed a little at the wedding, and it was great. But we haven't really talked about it since then, so I, I, I don't know how she feels about it. Hey, if Stuart and her get up, get together and like actually become a couple, that's good. That's what Stuart needs. I can't stop thinking about that present. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, me too. The card. <laughs> Why didn't they the just ask? Gift. But it's not a dinosaur fossil or matching pocket watches, so I don't see how it can be. Well, maybe we're trying too hard. Maybe it's something simple. <gasps> like Leonard and Penny. Yes, good. We just need to think like them. Now, I'm just going to ask them. No, you can't. It'll hurt their feelings. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and they'll know you weren't smart enough to figure it out on your own. You're right. Oh, this is awful. And I can't even comfort myself by stroking the fossilized tibia of a pentaceratops. Let's just go to sleep. Or we go tear apart that box and look for a clue. Staying up <laughs> past my bedtime and solving mysteries? Who knew married life could be this good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuart. What's wrong with his face? A lot of people have been asking that. He's smiling. Sorry, I'm excited. I haven't been on a date in a long Leave time. Leave this boy alone. Back when he I was is dating, finally I'd getting always somewhere. Wear a new pair of underwear, just in case. It's also been a long time since I bought new underwear. <laughs> I probably should. These are no longer tidy nor whitey. Okay, I'm out. Good. You guys liked it? Yeah, well, we liked it a lot more than things that aren't it. I'll tell you that. Well, you know, that's great because when we saw it, we thought Amy and Sheldon just have to have that. Oh, do tell. Do you <laughs> not know what it is? Uh, of course he knows what it is. He's the smartest man in the world. <laughs> That's why they got it. The world. No, some that's of why they got it. He, they, that's the one thing that they now, didn't think to do. Excuse me, I'm going to return home and use your gift in the manner which it was intended. Gosh, this makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Howard, look, I don't often say this, but good, you're here. Now, do you know what Leonard and Penny got us for our wedding gift? Well, no, wait, 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 don't answer. I don't want to know. I just want to know if you know. If you're asking if you and Amy should spend the next couple days running all over town searching for the next clue. I'm going to have to say yes. <laughs> I knew it. This is so much fun. Oh, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, thank you again. We love the gift. Oh, oh it, it's just this dumb crystal wand that Howard and Bernadette gave us for our wedding. Penny and I made each other miserable trying to figure out what it was, and we thought, why not pass that fun along to Sheldon and Amy? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Give them the crystal chakra one that I give you for your wedding. Oh. Don't re-gift on gifts, people. That's not that's not appropriate. It's not nice. Scavenger hunt myself last night. I was trying to find the remote. I looked under one of the cushions. Wasn't there. And then I lifted the cushion a little higher. Bingo. <laughs> Riveting. Are you sure? Am I sure? Is basalt a mathic extrusive igneous rock formed by the rapid cooling of magnesium and iron rich lava? Yeah, I'm sure. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure okay, that's a yes. So it's quartz. That's gotta mean something. What do we know about quartz? It's I'll just Google a it. wand. Or you could ask me. The coffee shop where we first met. All right, let's go. <laughs> Sorry. I think I just had an adrenaline rush from having visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Raj, will you um, smell something for me? <laughs> that depends. Actually, it doesn't depend, just no. No, I came over here because I need advice, and you've gone out with more women than anybody I know. Huh. I guess you're right. Shellen's a smart one, Howard's the funny one, and apparently I'm the ladies' man. <laughs> no, you're the one that knows how to Leonard. lose a lady, man. Oh, yeah, right. Trust your instincts. That's what I do. Yeah, none of them worked and out for you. that works for you? No. Actually, no. I've made a mess of my life, and I'm, I'm all alone. Oh my God, Raj is actually having a moment. Uh, why, yes, I'd love to take a survey. 
you know what though the writers are the ones that made raj like this so yeah i asked the barista if anyone left anything for us and she said to look in this lost and found box why would it be in the lost and found box because we were lost and then we found each other <laughs> these two it are looking into this sense. way too much <laughs> oh and look at this a locket our life together is just starting and they want us to fill it with our memories <sighs> This might be that the is... best wedding gift ever. <laughs> that is coincidentally oh, actually they working out. They also left us a pair of sunglasses because our future's so bright. <laughs> oh, look what Hallie drew. Yeah, she made it at daycare. It's pretty good, huh? Easy. <laughs> wow, Gentile moms are tough. <laughs> Guys, I need to show you something, but you have to promise not to make fun of me. Oh. Yeah, oh my god. I was worried about the date, so I got my hair colored to make me feel a little more confident, but that just made me look paler, so I, I got a spray tan. Have you tried showering, seeing if you could scrub it off? I'm picking her up in an hour. <laughs> he looks like an Opa What Lupa am I gonna do? With black hair. You mean, what are you gonna do? Is that do what I would look Lupa like if... <laughs> You said you weren't going to make any jokes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll stop. Why don't you cancel the date and reschedule? But I was really looking forward to tonight. You know what? Then go. Tell her what happened. Maybe she'll be flattered. And if not, swing by the chocolate factory and see if they're hiring. <laughs> well, that wasn't a joke. That was a legitimate suggestion. <laughs> what a nice surprise, calling me on my birthday. Oh. Yes, that's why I'm calling. <laughs> And what better gift to give you than the gift of marrying an Indian woman, just like you've always wanted? My goodness, Rajesh, oh. this is exciting news. Who is she? You tell me. I want you to arrange a marriage for me. Uh -oh. I'm just so tired of being single, and I'm finally just, I'm, I'm ready to settle down. I can't just call up some girl's dad and make her marry you. It's, it's not 2015 anymore. If I'm going to find a woman to set you up with, you're going to need to stop Instagramming pictures of you and your dog wearing matching sweaters. <laughs> Fine, if that's what it takes to show you that I'm serious. A uh, quick question. Do you mean just Instagram or all my social... All of them. <laughs> and a little picture of Sheldon in it. In, in the locket. Their joke backfired. <laughs> so really, you gave us three amazing gifts. You have the locket, the adventure, and the realization that Amy and I can do anything as long as we work together. We wrote you a special thank you note. Oh, oh my Are God. those words? It's based on Sanskrit, but not the Sanskrit you're thinking of. <laughs> and best of all, you can't use the internet to cheat because we locked you out of your Wi-Fi, and the answer to this is your new password. <laughs> I'm no longer happy. <laughs> I'm getting married. What? Oh. No. <laughs> Penny. Well, I, I, I haven't met her yet, but her name is Anu. And my father says she comes from a good family. She's in her 30s. She works in hospitality management. So as long as I can get through six to ten dates without revealing my true self, <laughs> this is happening. I made a series of bad decisions. <laughs> one of which is hidden by my pants. Hey, maybe we can go find Nemo together. <laughs> <laughs> good one. <laughs> Do your 63 other crayon friends know you're out? Are you just gonna make fun of me all night? Probably. Great, so what are we thinking, Chinese? Yeah, I'm in the mood for orange chicken. She's a keeper. I already like her. She's a keeper. Something about babies crying and keeping them up all night's not important. You guys should totally take a look at her. <laughs> then we can be neighbors. Hey, oh, wait God. a minute, what about us? We're married now, maybe we want to buy the house next door. Well, Amy, we can't move. I'd have to change all the tags in my underwear. Yeah, plus if we moved, we'd probably just get a loft downtown. Really? I always figured we'd get a place with a yard. Oh, sure, yeah, that makes sense. You could shoot hoops and mow the lawn. <laughs> How are you two married? <laughs> you were there, I wore her down. He did. <laughs> you guys should have talked about all this stuff while you were dating. 
Arranged marriages have been working for thousands of years. Anu and I come from similar backgrounds. Our families get along. And we each fill out questionnaires so we know we're not wasting our time with someone who's not compatible. Wow, that sounds so dry and clinical. You lucky duck. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think you can truly know someone until you've spent a lot of time with them. Exactly. You need to What's date somebody for at least a year, in my opinion. Uh, enjoying your book? So much. <laughs> Why do you keep poking at it? Shopping on my phone. You're <laughs> the one who said you wanted to read more. Yes, I also tell people I only feed the kids organic. It's just stuff you say. Oh, nice. I wish I read more. Well, if it's important, you find the time. <laughs> you want to see my room? Yeah. Cool. How do you feel about this? That she can clearly do better, but that's not for me to say. We're sitting right out here. They're not going to do anything. <laughs> I'd like to change my answer. <laughs> wow, you really are good at this. Well, I've spent a lot of time painting D&D &D miniatures. <laughs> I know that makes you want to rip my shirt off, but wait until your nails are dry. <laughs> oh, it's Raj. He sent us that Indian marriage questionnaire. Ooh, read one. Uh, how close are you with your family? Pretty close. I'm gonna say not too close, but I'm hoping to get farther. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about children? Uh, they're okay, I guess. I mean, if I saw one, I wouldn't throw a rock at it. The question is, would you like to have kids? So, yeah, we want kids. Yeah, someday. Like in the next five years. Oh. Sure. The next question? How are you with pets? Well, I did take care of Sheldon for 15 years, and he only bit me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please get sparkling instead of tap some clean silverware and find out what they're having? That looks delicious. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, my God. So, you're an astrophysicist? Yes, ma'am. You are not good at this. <laughs> if I was good at this, I wouldn't need to be fixed up by my father. I never thought I'd let my family set me up either, but I'm 34, I'd like to have kids, and it's hard to date because I work so much. Oh, yes, sir. You're a concierge. For now. Mm. I plan to be managing a hotel in the next five years. Four, if I can get the current manager out of the way. Okay, this girl has got it. a lot well, of red um, flags already. I used to have a long <laughs> list of what I wanted from my wife. Eyes like Sandra Bullock, hair like Sandra Bullock. Oh, I'm definitely nice. Every time a girl breaks up with me, she always starts with, you're a nice guy. Look, your whole sweet, insecure thing is cute, but honestly, I have no time for that. If you're not serious about this, you need to walk away now. I, I am serious. Good. I'm, uh, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, what, 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 what does this mean? I think it means I might be the future Mrs. Kutrapali. How would you feel if I didn't change my name? A little hurt, but you wouldn't know because I'm too nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wanna nope. get lunch? I can. Hallie and Michael were up all night and I'm way behind. You know, I've been thinking lately that maybe I don't want kids. Are you crazy? Of course you want them. It's amazing. You just said they ruin everything. I'm allowed to. It's their fault I pee when I laugh. <laughs> Why is it crazy to say I might not want kids? Oh, it's not crazy. It's just wrong. Having or kids isn't for everybody, them, though. So I won't have them, so back off. Aw, you sound just like me before I became a mom and learned what the meaning of love was. You know, not everyone needs to have kids to be fulfilled. Right. You're right. You got Leonard. What more do you need? <laughs> hey, guys. I got my dog. So, how was your date? She's nice. I'm nice. We're just as likely to be happy as any she other. She had people. red Maybe flags that I don't think you saw. Sorry, that was not a swipe at you. <laughs> I didn't think it was. Yeah, good, because it was not. Because you're being dumb. You don't know anything about her. How come you all get to be married and I have to stay single? I think that's a question for a licensed professional. You know what? You're not just insulting me, okay? You're insulting my family, my culture, and my future bride, Anu. A vegetarian with a master's degree from Cornell whose favorite fruit is pineapple. Yeah, but I got a side with I'm Howard sure on this, this one. Like, did I... you know that pineapples were once Hold so on. rare? That... This is not me saying that arranged, that arranged marriages don't work, because they do. I mean, I've heard of them working. I would not personally do one, but I've heard of them working. But for Raj, like, he's not doing this because he wants a wife. 
he's doing it because he's feeling alone and he feels singled out because he's the only one in the friends group that's not married. Like, I don't think that... I'm not saying it wouldn't work out if they gave him an arranged marriage, but right now at this point in his life, I don't think it's a good idea because he's too... He's too easily manipulated and thrown in with it you know what i mean you see what i'm saying like it kind of makes sense um it just doesn't it doesn't fit you know what i mean for him for other people it probably does but for him i just i don't see it and i honestly i think he's gonna end up getting hurt and i don't want to see that because we're on the final season we don't have time for raj to be hurt anymore hey honey how was your day Ugh. what's wrong raj is talking about marrying this woman he just met I told him it was dumb, and now he's mad at me. The same thing happened to me. Penny said she didn't want kids, and I told her she was being silly, and she accused me of being condescending. Which is crazy, because if I wanted to be condescending, I would have said, Oh, condescending, that's such a big word. We're married, we have great kids, great jobs, this great house. <laughs> Yeah, but not everybody wants kids, okay? That... Hey, Leonard, remember yesterday when we were talking about having kids someday? Yeah. Well, what if it wasn't someday? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's oh, my not God, pregnant. are you pregnant? No, 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 no. What if, what if we didn't have kids? Ever? I mean, our life is so great. Why would we want to change that? Sure. 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 And I guess it would be hard raising kids in the, the loft you never told me you wanted. Dad, there's nothing to be mad Unlock the door. You have to, to turn the thing. I knew that. You're awfully quiet. Sorry. You no, know, I like it. Got a lot on my mind. Would you like to talk about it? Not really. Grape nuts for breakfast, quiet car ride, things are really breaking my way today. It's just Penny hit me with some pretty big news. And it's a lot to process. Do you want to have children? Well, I always assumed we would, and now I find out, you know, I might be the last of the Hofstadter line. Doesn't your brother have children? And your sister, she kept the Hofstadter name and has five healthy boys, Neil, Jeffrey, Scott, William, and baby Richard. Did you just come here to tell me I'm making a gigantic mistake by having this blueberry muffin and I should have got a cinnamon roll like you did? No. Good, because I'm happy with my choice. Although that cinnamon roll does smell good if you open to have these. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in romance more than any person I've ever met, and it's hard to see you give up on that. But if you really think marrying this woman is going to make you happy, then you have my complete and total support. I will be with you every step of the way. What the hell, Penny? Oh, God. I'm going to need more than that. You're not having kids? How could you do this to me? How what is, is this? Business? Because Literally. your kids were supposed to be friends with my kids. Who's going to be friends with them now? She's they got a point, actually. Oh, sure. Because Sheldon's DNA plus my DNA equals a kid who knows how to make friends grow up. We were supposed to massage each other's perineums with vitamin E. Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot to process here. Right now. What is going to be hard is letting go of the dream of us breastfeeding each other's babies. Yeah, don't do that. I'd say that sounds pretty good. Really? Not see that coming. One second. It's <laughs> what I listen to when I'm firming up my glutes. Not this song. You get him? Sure. Oh, God. Hey. Hey. I, I made you dinner. Your favorite In N Out burger out of the wrapper on a plate. Thank you, but you don't have to do this. I'm fine. I know it's not a baby, but it, it does leak when you pick it up. Really? That's close enough. You're joking about this now? What? I've imagined having a lot of things that I'm never gonna get. A Nobel Prize, a working Batmobile. Okay. I also have a lot that I never thought I'd have. 
Thank you. Are you sure that's enough? Hey, Daddy. What's this Leonard says about you not wanting to give me grandbabies? <laughs> oh, God, why'd you tell me? He might feel differently. Bye. Cheers. <clears throat> okay. I guess if we're going forward with this wedding, we should talk about the next steps. Oh, like themes and flowers? Actually, finances and taxes. Oh, uh, we can't use that. That was the theme of my parents' divorce. So my accountant feels strongly that we should file separately the first year, and then we can reevaluate based on our joint assets. My okay? God. No, I can't do this. Why Good not? for you. Th there's something you may not know about me, because, you know, we've only met once, but this isn't the story that I want to tell my grandkids. I understand. I'm so sorry if I wasted your time. Good for you, Raj. You're tall enough so I can wear heels, and <laughs> I think that's something worth fighting for. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, yes, of course, of course, I'll marry you! <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to kiss me, you can. Oh, great. I should warn you, I have a tongue piercing. Are you going to tell me where we're going? Because if it has the words farmers or market in it, I don't want to go. No, you were talking about all the things you thought you would never have, so thought I would get you one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You bought me the Patmobile? <laughs> wow. And crash. <laughs> that was cool all right so that was part one of season 12 for the big bang theory and i gotta say very good start very strong beginning hopefully we're getting this this is going to be a great series finale uh for a season you know what i mean hopefully we get a really good season this one because so far it's beginning on a good note and i just hope it continues you know penny and leonard they're leaving hints. They uh, maybe they'll have kids. I don't know. They had the baby talk already. Maybe they will. I don't. Maybe Penny will change her mind. Who knows? Or maybe, just maybe, she'll get pregnant and change her mind. Shouldn't? I don't know. I don't know. She might. <laughs> I'm excited for this season. I really am. It's a very good season so far. And if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.